Hello. Hey, Mom, it's Brett. Oh, hi, Brett. How are you? Good. So, did you have any ideas for the parent project this month? This is like Sunday night homework. You know that feeling you get when you have Sunday night homework? It's like school. I got to write. It should be a little bit more fun than homework. It's fun if you have some great thoughts. But I have a couple of ideas. So, is it okay to give you the two storylines this time? What are the stories? Let's hear them. It's called The Tennis Ladies. Do you want to hear the characters or just read the storyline? Tell me the characters. Right. And the characters are tennis partners, Veronica and Lacey. They're in their 30s and very attractive, athletic, and youthful looking. And then there's Nancy and Jillian, muscular women with attitude and foul mouth. And there's line keepers, guys, any guy. Okay, the tennis ladies. On a beautiful sunny afternoon, four women approach the tennis court for the start of the Summer League Division One doubles playoff tournament. As the line keepers scuttle into position and the match begins, one can't help but notice that Veronica and Lacey are wearing thongs under their tennis skirts. Wait, wait, wait. What do you what do you mean one can't help but notice it? They just wore thongs under the skirt. It's really not typical. But it's under the skirt. How do people know? Well, they're always picking up balls. And the line keepers are right there. <laughs> what really happens? Everybody starts to whisper. And now the people, their opponents, become really upset because the match starts off the court. And this is all shenanigans. It's like a tactic. Right. It's first action. Psychological um, warfare of tennis ladies? Yes. Nancy and Jill become angry and begin to direct the balls to the skirt. Veronica and Lacey are busted for unsportsmanlike behavior. Nancy and Jill take the win, and you see only their arms rolling their t-shirts around as they leave the court. Get it? Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's good. That sounds like funny with a small F, Brett. I have a lot of ideas, and I throw them all out because I don't think they're good ideas. I don't think they're funny. I just think the process I go through when I make stuff is really similar. I think the same thing. Like, I don't know if it's good... I have to get it done. Are people going to like it? I don't think it's funny. But if you feel like you come up with a bad story, what's what's the worst that could happen? Oh, that my children think I'm weird? I don't think they'll think you're weird. Okay, let me tell you number two then, all right? The eagle has landed. Neil and Buzz. The setting is on the moon, July 21st, 1969. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're on the moon? Right. The astronauts are walking on the moon, discussing off-line the pant load they each have in their diapers. Confirming pan load in your diaper bus. Roger that, Neil. The cargo is in the dumpster. And nobody knew that they were wearing these diapers. I'll never think of them on the moon again the same way. <laughs> and they practice moonwalking in order to hide the duty walk. Is that like a baby has? Oh. Oh. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I think it's trickling down my leg. <laughs> and that's it? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> to disappoint you, but what do you, those are my stories. Why? It's not disappointing. I like these stories. Why do you think it's disappointing? I don't know. You having, like, frustrations over creating these stories is something that I think every creative person has, no matter what sort of creative thing they do. So it's a very normal thing to feel. Well, I don't care about that. I just have to explain these stories I'm coming up with to my family. Have you ever seen me come up with stories like that? No. Do you think it's weird when I come up with stories? No, not at all. How come it's weird when you do it and not weird when I do it? Well, I'm your mother. So it's really not like me to tell stories, but I'm trying to... I, actually, I like working with you because you call me. At least once a month. Great. You're saying, where do you come up with this stuff for? But I always have a story behind the story I tell or where I got the idea. You actually had that thong thing happen to you? I've seen it, yes. But what about the moonwalk? How'd you come up with that one? I like the word pant load. I think it's funny. If you believe, they put